this idea, so if you close your eyes for a moment, of being at ease when we're with our own self. So I'll just read to you from this. Um, these are the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Mm. So when the individual is with him or herself, purely with themselves, they find it to be quite unbearable in their aloneness. So this is an obstacle. They constantly need something to escape, to run away from themselves. And in this state of dense consciousness, the individual has no stable ground of being. They are lost in the doing and having, doing and having, doing and having. Whenever the doing pauses, the individual experiences instability and stress. They're constantly wanting to be in a state of busyness of doing in their mind and in their life. They find it extremely challenging just to be without doing or being or having, just simply being. They don't see it as having any value. So jumping from one thought to another thought to another thought, constantly moving mind, and a constant background of white noise. But through your practice, as you go deeper into yourself, you will find that your capacity to be with yourself in your aloneness will start to increase. All the sound backdrop in your life you realize a lot of it is noise. And you'll be able to be with yourself and not seek distraction, not seek noise, not seek a doing to escape from your own inner self. And so our practice allows us to drop in to our inner self and to be with ourselves and for it to be a safe and comfortable place. And I think all of us are familiar with the feeling of at different points in our lives when we weren't comfortable with being on our own with our own selves. And so let's really embody that principle this morning as we move that we're dropping into ourselves and being with ourselves without the need for distraction. And that this is a state we also are going to tap into throughout the day. I'm just going to just sit here for a moment. I'm going to turn off that tap. And so we're going to start with a really nice breath practice, cosmic breath. So we're going to inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Get the time out. So inhale, and then exhale to the mat. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mat. And keep going.
Now take a deep inhale. Pause, hold, lift pelvic floor, drop in. Exhale, release. Breath, fantastic tool for internalizing the mind. And we're gonna go with the opposite. So we're gonna inhale mouth, exhale nose. And this time we'll do just deep breaths. Inhale, open out. Exhale, round. So inhale, mouth. Exhale, nose. Inhale, opening out. Exhale, rounding. Deep breaths, full expansive breaths. And now take a deep breath. Pause, hold, lift pelvic floor, chin slightly in, eye gaze center of the forehead, hold. Exhale, release hands. Just sit for a moment. Now carefully interlace your hands behind your back. Reach your knuckles down and lift your chest and breathe here. Deep, full breaths. Have the feeling of opening the chest a little more with each breath. And these full breaths getting right down into the bottom of the diaphragm. And one more. Breathe nice and carefully release. So hands on your knees, take a deep inhale and bring the breath all the way down to the base of the spine. And as you exhale, follow the breath, your awareness back up and out to your nostrils. Full breath down to the base of the spine, down to your root, filling up and exhale, follow your breath back up. And one more, inhaling down and exhaling up. So come to all fours and we're going to continue with that breath awareness as you inhale breath goes down to the tailor bone arching cat cow and as you exhale round breath comes out to the nostrils goes up your spine inhale arch exhale round Inhale, arch. Follow your awareness. Exhale, down. Inhale, arch. And then exhale, tuck your toes and breathe out as you exhale. Breath goes up the spine, out your nostrils. Let's take two breaths here. Firm your legs. 
Maybe move any way that you need to move, any stiffness in your body. Press your index finger knuckle and your thumb into the floor. One more breath here, down your spine as you inhale. And then the breath up the spine as you exhale. And now carefully walk your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Hands to your shins, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold in. Let's do another one just like that. Press into the floor with the feet. Lift the heart, chest away. Crown of the head away from the tailbone. Breath down your spine. And then exhale, fold in a little more. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. And now right hand holds your left forearm and lean to the right. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. So take a deep inhale, breath goes down the spine. As you exhale, breath comes up and lean a little more and lift the pelvic floor on that exhale. One more full breath down. And as you exhale, that lift of the pelvic floor, breath going up. Inhale back to center. And now other side. So left hand holds your right and forearm and lean to your left. Full breath down. And as you exhale, lean to the left. Lift of the pelvic floor. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, fold forwards. And keep that awareness with the breath as you move. Inhale, lift the chest, breath goes down. Exhale, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, cactus the arms so the elbows draw down, chest lifts. Maybe look up. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, reach. Think of tailbone tucking under, protecting the lower back. Exhale, cactus the arms, breath comes up the spine. And one more, inhale, reach. And exhale, cactus the arms. Really great, so focusing on heart opening this morning and deep breath, so inhale, reach. Exhale, hands down. Really great for building energy and come to plank. Knees can be down this first round, especially. Inhale. Exhale, lower to the ground. So spiders out to the sides, striking cobra. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Inhale, lift up. Legs are active. Exhaling and lower. Breath comes up the spine. Maybe close your eyes. We have two more of these to do. So inhale, breath goes all the way down. Lift the chest, shoulders away from the ears. Exhaling, lower movement in sync with the breath. No rush. And one more inhale. And exhale. Full exhale, all the breath out. Hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra. And then exhale back into down dog. Inhale, awareness down your spine. Exhale, awareness up the spine. 
draw up your left knee, right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, cactus the arms, lift the chest. Inhale, reach, tuck that tailbone. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift, and maybe look up. Full breaths, one more, inhale, reach. Have that feeling of building pranic energy at the heart center, these deep breaths and these open movements. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, hands either side of the front foot, left foot joins the right, top of the mat. Inhale, all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Right hand holds the left forearm and lean to the right. Inhale, back to center. And then left hand holds right forearm, lean to the left. Inhale, back to center, reach. And exhale, fold forwards. Hands to your shins, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, reach up. And now bend your left elbow, left hand comes to the upper back, right hand holds the elbow, and now lean to the right. Inhale, come to center, fill up, lift the chest. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Stay here now, inhale, fill up. Full breath, exhale, lean, little lift of the pelvic floor and awareness up your spine as you exhale. Inhale, back to center, reach the arms. Exhale, hands down, step back and lower all the way to the ground. Hands out to the side, striking cobra, feet are active, inhale, lift up. Exhaling, lower down. Do two more. So feet up, pressing into the floor. Fingertips, inhale, breath down. And as you exhale, breath back up. And one more, inhale. And exhale. Reach the arms back, interlace your hands behind your back or palms down, whichever works for you. Reach the knuckles back and then maybe lift the legs. Breathe here. So focus on the breath. Think of your pinky, your little baby toe facing down towards the mat, inner thighs towards the ceiling, maybe lift the legs a little more. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest. And as you exhale, lift the legs. And go again, inhale, lift the chest a bit more. And exhale, lift the legs. Release the hands down, come into cobra. We inhale, cobra. And exhale back into down dog. Full inhale. A long exhale. And again, inhale down the spine. Down to your root. And then exhale back up. And a little lift of the pelvic floor. 
Drop your left knee this time, right foot forward between. Mm, no, nope. other one, right knee down, left foot forward between your hands, sorry. Inhale, reach up. And now bend your right elbow, right hand on your upper back, left hand holds the elbow and now lean to the left. Inhale back to center, lift up. And as you exhale, lean to the left. And stay here, full deep breath. And long exhale, lean a little more as you exhale. And one more like that, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, hands down, right hip joins the left, top of your mat and fold. Inhale, all the way up, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. So inhale, reach. And then exhale, come into chair. Now stay here as you inhale. And then as you exhale, I want you to straighten the legs and cactus the arms, lift the chest. Take an inhale here, cactus in the arms. Exhale into chair, straighten the arms. Inhale, straighten the legs, cactus the arms, look up, chest lifts. Full breath. Exhale into chair, reach. Let's do two more. Inhale, straighten the legs, cactus the arms, lift the arms, lift the chest rather. Full breath. Exhale into the chair, reach the arms. One more. Inhale, cactus. And exhale, reach. Stay here in chair as you inhale. And exhale, fold forwards. Straighten the legs. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, step left foot back and left knee down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach, interlace. Interlace the fingers. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhaling, reach. And then exhale, hands down and step back into plank and lower. Inhale into cobra. Exhale, come all the way back down. Interlace the hands, inhale, lift the legs, lift the chest. Stay here as you exhale. Full inhale. Exhaling, lower down, hands again beneath your shoulders. Inhaling, cobra. Lift the chest. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhaling, knee to nose. Squeeze, lift pelvic floor. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to nose. And now step that right foot forward. Bring the left knee down. And we're gonna do, actually bring both hands, put both feet down and bring your left shin off your mat. So we're on all fours now, left shin off the mat and right leg is long. So exactly, left hand down, left knee down and right foot down and then lift that right leg. 
So open the chest and then very carefully reach for that right foot. Really nice. And so here we're thinking again of that lovely opening we've been working on. So draw the right foot back, open in the chest and breathe here. Focus as you inhale, breath goes down the spine, down to your root. As you exhale, little lift of the pelvic floor, breath comes up and maybe open a tiny bit more. So reach that foot back. Really nice, inhale, reach. So now reach the arm up and the leg long. And then exhale, foot down, both feet down. Let's come into down dog. Left side, inhale, rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders of wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. And exhale, knee to nose. And now pop the left knee down and the right knee down. And we'll go to the other side. So the right chin comes off your mat at an angle. The right hand's on the floor, right knee and left foot. Really nice. And stabilize here. So lift the bottom waist. And then lift that left leg. And reach back and hold on to the left ankle. And breathe. So draw that left shoulder back, open in the chest. And maybe use the resistance of the foot to draw the chest open and draw that left shoulder back more. And breathe, inhaling down the body. Breath is the key. Exhaling back up. Then lift. Let's do two more here. And last one for a breath. And now carefully release the leg, release the arm, reach them up. And exhale, knees down. And come back to all fours and tuck your toes and into down dog. Deep inhale. And exhale. Bend your knees, look between your hands, carefully step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, the left hand comes down to the side, right arm reaches over, leaning to the left. As you exhale, come back to center. Okay, let's catch our breath here. So take a moment, inhaling, reach the arms. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, step back to plank and lower all the way to the ground. So now palms facing down, interlace the hands, or if you wish to, you can reach back and hold on to the heels whichever version works, right? It's all just to get that heart opening back bend. Okay, so inhale, lift up into whichever version and exhale here. So tune into those deep breaths again, down the spine to 
to your root and then exhaling. Let's take two more here. And carefully release all the way down and make a little pillow with your head and turn your head to one side. And breathe here. It's that real sense of a connection with your breath. I'm going to go another round of bow pose, reaching back. Hold on to your ankles or reaching back into this, your fingers. And you reach up. And carefully coming down. And again, make a little pillow for your head and turn your head to one side. Really nice. And then from here, come back into child's pose. Knees are wide and reaching the hands. Great. So we're going to come into camel pose. So very mindful of your back and everyone will find a version of camel pose that works for them. So starting with your hands on your waist and think of hips stay over the knees and the sternum lifting. So the sense of your chest lifting and upper back. So this spiral in the upper back as the chest lifts and then you draw the shoulders back and down. Really nice. And so this may be where you might hang out. You might tuck your toes and reach back and put your hands onto your heels and keep again drawing the sternum, the chest up. Or you might have the feet flat on the floor, whichever version works. And breathe here. Some people like to release their head back, and for some, it's like to keep your chin tucked. So, whichever version works, and breathe. Very nice. Just two more deep breaths here. And then very carefully, inhale coming up, very careful with the lower back, and exhale, come sitting on your knees, on your heels rather, and just sit for a moment, absorb the effect, back bends always, leave that echo in your body. So we're going to go in one more time. Okay, if it feels like too much for you, then stay in rock pose, eyes closed, focused on your breathing, down your spine and up your spine. And so listen to your body, see what works. Otherwise, we'll come back and do one more round of camel pose. And so hips facing forward, both hips stay over the knees, and then lift in the chest. That's it. And lift, lift, lift. And you may find the second round, you'll go less far, right? Or you might go to a deeper version, whatever works, and breathe here. Close your eyes, follow the breath down as you inhale. And back up as you exhale.
that's it. So let's do two more breaths here. Really nice. And now carefully, carefully inhale, come back up. And exhale, sit back on your heels and tune into your breath. And from here, push back into child's pose. Knees wide and feel the breath. So let's come onto our back from here. And so carefully lifting up. We start on our back. And actually before we do anything, let's draw the knees into the chest and just walk a little bit side to side. So very strong work in the lower back when we're doing camel pose. And full deep breaths. Really nice. And now plant your feet on the floor, hands beside your hips, and lift up into cobra, into um, bridge pose. Draw the upper arm bones in underneath, and then interlace your fingers, reaching the knuckles towards your heels. And breathe here. So remember, this is a yoga bridge. So we're not trying to keep the hips in alignment with the um, ribs. We're trying to have a really nice experience of a back bend. So lift up, draw the chest towards the chin, push into the feet. Make sure the knees are going straight towards the toes and breathe here. Come back into that breath. So inhaling from your nostrils and go all the way down to the base of the spine, cultivating our ability to be with ourselves. And to be at ease, not seeking a distraction, not doing, just here breathing and being. Let's do two more breaths. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, come all the way down. Again, draw the knees into the chest, nice counter pose and rock side to side. And now let both of your knees fall to the right. Hands out to the sides and look to your left. And follow your breath. Come back to center and go to the other side. And maybe you can feel a little tenderness in your lower back. That's okay, as long as it's not a sharp pain. Really nice. So we're going to take a brief Shavasana now for a few minutes. And then we're going to come out and do a breathing technique. And so let your legs long. Let your legs go along, hands at your sides, palms facing up or down, whichever you feel drawn to, and completely relax. So completely let go. Eyes sinking towards the back of your head.
and feel all the muscles in your face relax. Maybe as you lie here, you're suddenly aware of a deep fatigue or tiredness within you. I always think at this time for people who are involved with children, it's the end of the school year. And so if you feel that tiredness, just go with it. Let your body relax. The children are tired too. Sometimes rest is so restorative, it just rejuvenates us. And then very slowly, carefully, begin to bring your attention back to your resting body. As you lie here, just notice how you feel. And it's so good to drop inside and just notice sometimes we're not as aware of how we are. And just knowing how we are can sometimes be so helpful. Just knowing, oh, I'm, I'm a bit tired or mm, I'm a bit spacey or whatever it is, I'm a bit touchy or whatever whatever, just knowing that helps us to be aware when we're in different situations, to be kind to ourselves. And so just noticing how you are and then carefully draw your knees into your chest and roll onto your right side. And here lying on your right side, really tune in.
And now take your time and come up to sitting. And make yourself comfortable in your seat. Yeah. So I haven't done this one in a while. It's called Amritra Kriya. So your fingers are all touching. I'll come closer so you can see it in the camera. So like there's a globe between your fingers and your fingers are facing down. And you're going to draw your hands up. And then when they reach the heart, you come into lotus mudra. So the index, I mean, the thumb and the fingers are together. And then coming all the way up to your crown of your head. And then at the crown of your head, you keep the sides of your hands, the two baby fingers together, reach the arms out and bring the arms all the way down. So we draw them up. And at the heart, we go into Lotus Mudra, up to the third eye, and then we reach out and bring it down. And so it's this Mudra is about giving and receiving, so receiving, so that then we can give, right? So nourishment, drawing in first, and then radiating out. So the breath that goes with this one is we sip in through the mouth all the way up like you're sipping through a straw and then a long exhale through the nose the arms going out so eyes are closed so start with your fingertips facing straight down like there's a globe between your hands between the hands so that they're all separated the palms are not together and then slowly inhale sipping through your mouth as you draw the hands up in, in tune with the breath, keep sipping. At the heart center, you turn into Lotus Mudra, the baby finger and the thumbs together, going all the way up as far as the third eye. And then opening palms open, baby fingers touching, hands, arms straight, and exhale through your nose all the way out. Coming back to start. And just keep going. And remember, these ones, there's no perfect, right? You just move with your breath. Having that intention of drawing energy in, nourishing yourself, and then of sharing and giving energy back out. And that's the key, isn't it? Having your toolkit of things that nourish you that replenish your energy. So then you're able to give, able to support all those in your life. And you give with so much love because you're nourished and taken care of yourself as well. So sipping in through a straw with your mat, all the way up. And that long exhale out to the nose. And tune in and be tune in and be at ease with yourself on the inside. That really gentle, loving inner gaze. I often say it, there's so much research that now indicates that the kind when you are kind to yourself, when you have compassion for yourself, when you forgive yourself, when you really are gentle and considerate of yourself, then you are much kinder, more compassionate, more forgiving with others. So it's not a selfish act at all to take care of yourself.
And the next time you come to the end of your exhale, take a deep inhale. And a long exhale. And just sit for a moment. <clears throat> through your practice, as you go deeper into this yourself, you will find that your capacity to be with yourself in your aloneness will increase. And so perhaps experiment with yourself and notice if you tend to distract yourself, and try to consciously be with yourself in your aloneness when you can. Just little moments here and there. But perhaps instead of doing those various things we do that distract us, turning on the radio, checking our texts, etc. Everyone has their own things. Maybe take that moment when you're waiting for somebody, or you're standing in a queue, or you're on your own, to be with yourself. And always that loving internal gaze. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. I'm so sorry about all the glitches, but I think part of our building our equanimity, being able to cope with all these challenges of technology. And thanks so much. I hope you have a really great day. The weather is to be beautiful this weekend. A great rest, rest of your week. And I'll see you next week. <laughs>